Hi friends, I have a new stock on my watch list that I have not yet bought, but uh, nevertheless I think this one is truly a one to watch. Did you like railroads when you were a kid? Do you still like railroads? How about owning one? Canadian Pacific Kansas City is the only railroad company in North America that connects Mexico, USA and Canada. It gives shippers direct access to many ports across these key markets, with many ports in the east and two in the west coast. They ship grain, coal, potash and fertilizers, 34% of their revenue, forest products, energy, chemicals and plastics, metals, minerals and consumer products, and automotive, 47% of their revenue, and finally intermodal, 19% of their revenue. When talking about dataroma.com super investors, we can see that this was a big position in Bill Ackman's Pershing Square portfolio, at least at the end of March 2024, when the most recent data is published. The company grew in size significantly. Uh, Canadian Pacific Kansas City, I mean, grew in size significantly recently when, they, uh, when Canadian Pacific Railway and Kansas City Southern merged on April 14th, 2023. One thing I don't like is that the company's leadership does not have any significant ownership in the company. That's a minus for me always, as you know. Also, another thing not to like is that we have recently insiders only selling the stock, so we can say that the insiders of the company seem not to be bullish on the future with the company. Well, why I, I am so interested about the company is that I think this is a mega trend play on nearshoring uh, to North America with manufacturing, manufacturing sites, manufacturing jobs. I believe that if the world keeps on dividing to autocratic East and democratic West, as it seems to do nowadays due to everything geopolitical that is going on in the world, there might be an increased flow of manufacturing companies ending up in Mexico at the expense of Asia, and this would benefit Canadian Pacific. Naturally, the company has moat with being a monopoly basically in transportation, wherever their train tracks run, nobody is going to build a competing railroad next to them, that is for sure. I am under the impression that from efficiency perspective, even driverless electric trucks do not pose a significant threat towards railways. So even there, no competition seems to be the case. In short, Possible nearshoring megatrend and this unique monopolistic position make Canadian Pacific Kansas City a stock that definitely goes to my watch list. So what is my valuation on it? Since I do not own it yet, this is my valuation. You always do yours and let me know in the comments what you think is the right price for the railroad company. With expected returns of 10% annually and sufficient margin of safety, uh, Canadian Pacific Kansas City is a buy for me starting at 100 Canadian dollars. The stock is now trading at somewhere 115 Canadian dollars, so it is not far away from a buy actually, or where I would consider starting dollar cost averaging. Uh, but I need a little bit more margin of safety to start buying it before. Uh, let's see if it drops a bit and finds its way to my portfolio in the near future. I would be interested to have this mega trend play in my portfolio. Thanks for watching this video. I see you in the next one and bye bye.